morning everyone trust you're all well today <clears throat> thought i'd try something different uh, from the usual napoleonics uh, went out and bought myself some um, from victrix victrix range early imperial roman bolt shooter um you get four in four bolt shooters with 16 crew so that's four crew per shooter but I thought I would do this just just for something different it's a unboxing or a, well an unbagging as Victrix now pack uh, pack their things in uh, in bags now rather than boxes which uh, well for me when I'm when I'm painting them I have somewhere to store me uh, me, me finished uh, figures but now with bags I don't have anywhere to store them so uh, in the future um, might start struggling for for space of where to put things but anyways never mind yeah i just thought i'd try these um yeah completely different usually i do as in my previous videos have been napoleonics and i've sort of moved away i just thought i'd give these uh give these a go and uh i thought i'd do um an unbagging as well so you can see what they look like on the sprues and everything so uh yeah we'll get into them i guess I mean, yeah, like I say, there's the, uh, the the 16 crew and four bolt shooters. It's early early Roman, and then on the back, if you can get it there, it shows all the the, the possible poses on the uh, on the crews, and uh, the bolt shooters actually can be in a um, a, a fired state or a um, ready to fire. So yeah, they're not looking too bad actually. Get my knife, I'll get these staples out and we'll get into it. But, uh, yeah, just thought I'd try these. I think these are a fairly recent or fa fairly new uh, kit from Victrix. I don't think it's been out too long. But I just thought I would do a sort of an unbagging. <clears throat> Just to let you see what they look like. It's a resealable bag, so at least if you get any loose parts, you can put them back in, and uh, you don't lose any. And usual Victrix instructions. Uh, they're putting the the shooter together. And it shows on there, you've got the S4, S7 parts to show that it's um, ready to shoot, that the, it's pulled back. And the S5 and S8, which is just fired. Those are the two, uh, two different versions you can do on it. And then we have the one of the crew members there who's cranking cranking the handle from the side and then on that one you could also have the crew member cranking both handles from the back of it so at least there's some some different options to go at <clears throat> sprues out all the sprues are actually they're identical for for the same so i'll leave three and we'll just go through one have it that way around. Da -da. We have the various heads at the top. How many is it? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Eleven heads. So there's a few heads to go at for variation. Sorry, just trying to see. I'm trying to look over the camera. I'm not used to this. We have. Um, well, there's a barrel. Half a barrel. Or two halves of the barrel, should I say? Oops, not quite again in focus there. We've got a shield. I don't think it shows on on the instructions of one of the crew members holding a shield, but never mind. It'd probably be an arm option somewhere for you to hold the shield. And the four crew members in the middle with. Uh, one of them is uh, in two halves. We've got the hand. Where are we at? 
we've got the the hands for cranking the handles um, at the back of the unit uh, where's the other hand that I can't quite see on the screw Da -da -da -da. Oh no, it's, it's separate arms. What arms were they? Let's have a look. There we go, one second. Right, A, A21 and A20. So that option. So we'll see if we can see them on here. Can't quite see in the light at the moment. Oh, there we go. A20 is there. For part of it, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, this is slow. Sorry, guys, I'm struggling here. Who's that? Oh, 21 right in the middle. Can't see for looking, but yeah, those are different options for the uh, for one of the crew members. And then, of course, you've got all the, the varying arm selections. All the pickaxes and buckets and uh, across this side as well uh, you've also got a loader there for loading the uh, the bolts and yeah it doesn't look to be too bad a kit i'll maybe see if i give a break from the ostrins that i've been uh, painting i might have a break and put one of these together and see if i can make and paint this and see uh, see what the finished item looks like but yeah it's usual good good detail on the figures as well and there's there's actually no well i can't see anything obvious there's there's no flash or anything like that the moldings are really good and the details on the heads all really nice and I noticed on Victrix website it was saying that obviously this is the early Roman that with the uh, late Roman heads you can convert them obviously to the later Roman armies so, but I don't I'm afraid the, this is the only Roman set I've got so I'll not be able to do a, a conversion for them not at the moment anyways yeah, I might go ahead and uh, and do a video on uh, putting this together and see how that goes. But yeah, I just thought I'd do this quick video just to show uh, show what the set contains. Hopefully, it's not too bad. I'm just staying in focus. I'm struggling for room here, so I'm sort of sat at an angle behind the camera or to one side of the camera. I'm trying to show you this. <clears throat> but yeah, all in it's uh, I guess it's what you expect from Victrix now. It's really, really nice detail. There's a lot of parts to it. I mean I don't mind that. I mean my, my background is or was making uh, plastic military kits. And I've just sort of progressed and gone into Napoleonics. A lot of people don't like <clears throat> too many parts for the Napoleonics, but I don't mind. I don't mind Victrix. I think some some prefer them to be like like your metal figures, where you can just take them out, prime and paint them, and set them up. Um, I'm the other way. I like to uh, part of the enjoyment is putting them together and seeing what variations you can get with them but yeah that's it i don't think there's any more to add <laughs> but yeah i hope uh, hope you enjoyed this little video backs of the helmets yeah it's looking like a really a really nice kit Oops, got out of focus again, sorry. Yeah, thanks guys, thanks for watching. And uh, I think I said earlier, that not on this video obviously, but on one of the previous ones, if you liked the video or even if you didn't, 
it would be nice if you could subscribe on a new channel and I've said before I'm not the best best of painters and I'm certainly not a videographer but uh, there you go try my best anyways we'll catch you again thanks for watching